Hello and welcome to the Longevity Learning Lab. Today we're going to make a small stainless steel bracket for a buddy of mine. Uh, he needs it made for a tool or a machine that they have at their job uh, and they just need something to take care of the needs. So we're going to put that together today. It's using some uh, 3 8 stainless steel rod uh, and some 1 16th inch thick 304 stainless steel sheet. So hang out for a few minutes. Let's see if we can get this thing buttoned up and put together for him so he can get on with his work. Today I'm going to use my CK Gas Saver Pyrex TIG gas cup. I set the machine to about 30 amps and set it at DC TIG using the foot pedal. I started out with some 16 gauge 304 stainless. I used my scribe to mark some of the lines. And I used a combination square to make the measurements. The line wasn't very visible, so I decided to use some dye. So here's the bottle of dye as it sat before I put it on. And there's what it's looked after I coated the back side of it. And then I went ahead and started to scribe some of the lines on there and got all the markings and pieces on there. Once I got that in place, I went ahead and used a ball peen hammer and center punch to punch the locations. I decided rather than drill it, I'd use a punch press it and punch the holes out. So when I got all done, this is what the finished part looked like before I removed the die. So here's the two pieces that I had prior to starting the welding, and I went ahead and sanded off some of the marks that were on the plate. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to set up to fit together our part and weld it up here. So you can see the part, clean that all up, I've put the holes in it there removed any kind of burrs from the hole or the punch and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press in the angle piece that we've got here. So I'm going to leave that just above surface just slightly there to make sure that I've got enough material to blend down onto the adjacent material there. I'm going to come back and finish it off a little bit later. So I just want to have it just slightly above flush there so that I can wash that over and on to the adjacent material. I also want to make sure that I'm nice and square and then I've got it set up there at 90 degrees. So that looks pretty good right there. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use a couple of these little uh, uh, strong hand tools magnets here to, to hopefully kind of set this up here and get myself in a situation where it won't rock around on me or move move too much once I start to weld. So keep in mind this is a stainless part so the magnets aren't going to stick to it. So something about like that should set me up and make it easy to weld. Okay now that we're set up to weld we're going to go ahead and get a couple of tacks on it here so we want to get it hot and real quick there and get that uh, 3 8 rod and melt that over onto the 16 gauge. We don't want to strike our arc uh, on that thin sheet there we want to strike it on the thicker end of that rod uh, so that we won't burn through the sheet so we strike the arc on the thick rod piece and then wave the torch over onto the thinner material and let the tack weld stop there now I'm just gonna make a hot quick pass around the perimeter of it to make sure that it's completely fused in and then get off of there hold the cup there long enough for the gas to time out and the material to cool off. And then as soon as that was done, I flipped it over and real quick hit it with a stainless steel wire brush to remove any of the heat marks that might be left on the face of the machine. So there's the front side with no burn through. So we're gonna do a little finishing on the back side of the weld here. Notice that I sand primarily only in the region where the weld's at, not all over the bracket. There's no reason to zap the clamp there uh, and screw it up. So be careful when you're sanding. Sand just till it's blended and just till it's gone. And then stop. Call it quits right there. There's no reason to keep sanding and keep going. Thanks again for spending a few minutes out of your day to hang out with us. Thanks again and have a great day.